It's like when you look at a security camera wall of like screens, they're all like there. You're not just looking at one tab at a time because with tabs, you only have one covering the whole screen and then you can switch. But it's just like, I'm looking at all of them on one desktop. And then I'm worrying about like, how my ADHD is causing me to think about too many things. And then I'm thinking about how my brain is off. So it's like having too many different things going through my head at a time to the point where I can't stop and be in the moment and focus on what I'm trying to do. Because I get distracted very easily uh, with ADHD. And, you know, in a classroom, there's 30 students sometimes. And, you know, everybody talking at once, you know, kind of disrupts me, but having somewhere quiet to work is definitely, um, I would say, needed almost for kids with ADHD. If I find something fun, I can focus on it. If I find it important, I can focus on it. Or if it's interesting, I can focus on it. But if it's not any of those things, I really just can't focus on a thing. I like annoy my sister and, and do like annoying things when I get bored because like I can't shift my attention onto other things. Like when I'm forced to stop playing video games, I'm really not good at shifting my attention onto other things and I end up getting annoying, which sometimes gets me in trouble. Impulsivity hasn't had a huge effect. It has gotten me into trouble a few times just because it's uh, it's not like a big thing, but a few times it's just been like I haven't been thinking and just impulsively I've done something like a lot of times when I would just get up and uh, sometimes when I was like uh, in grade five or six, I would, I would actually just get up and walk around, like a walk, uh, go outside sometimes or just go to the hallway without talking because I just I wasn't really thinking. I was just being very hyperactive. It kind of worked in tandem with like being very hyperactive because if it's if that was what I was thinking about, sometimes that would just be what I did. So drawing is just like something that helps me calm down and like it's kind of like fidgeting, but I it's like if I can focus on drawing like kind of absentmindedly, but it helps me focus on the things that are going on around me more, which I know for some people doesn't happen, but part of my ADHD is like that I'm hyperactive and like being hy hyperactive it can it can feel like very different depending on what it is like sometimes it's just like I really need to like I would just be bouncing my leg subconsciously where sometimes it's like I just can't sit down I would study for hours. I would have the attention span to sit down and focus and I would go to write a test and I would completely blank out and get so anxious and the tapping of a pencil would be enough to set me off and not be able to focus. I zone out and my brother will be telling me something and I'll have to tell me like eight times and he's like, Caitlin, you need to just like stop not paying attention to me. So that's like one thing and then like it's just they want to spend time with me and sometimes I'm just like I can't take in what you're saying. Hyper-focusing and like over-fixating on things, it can be good and bad. In grades 9 and 10, it definitely helped me study because I would hyper-focus on my notes and study until I knew that I knew the content. Um, and even if I knew it and I think I didn't know it, I would still hyper-focus, fixate. So you can kind of see how that would be rewarding with my marks, but also like detrimental to my well-being. Um, and that kind of got me into trouble by grade 11 
there was so much content that I couldn't study that hard for everything. And I reached a point where my course load was a bit heavier and studying that way was not sustainable. So I had to almost relearn how to study completely. Like sometimes what happened a few times is I stayed home from school because I was really behind on a lot of things and I didn't want to go to school. And the whole day I just worked and I got all of my work done for like three months in one day. And I, like, and the thing is I can get into the zone, but with like transit class transitions and like having to work on different things at different times, I find it much harder because it's easier for me to just get one assignment done and then move on to the next one. And if there's any distractions, it makes it so I lose my focus and I can't do as well anymore. So that's why I feel like when I stay home from school, it's really helpful for me. In school, it allows me to like hyperfixate and learn things and be passionate, which can all be good things, but it also means that I have strong emotions and I can get more stressed out and I can focus too much on one thing and not enough on other things and not be great at finding balance. So it's good and bad, but I've learned to accept the bad and embrace the good.